All right, we're going to go directly to our guest line right now. Uh, was uh, very excited when uh, one Mr. David White strolled in the studio today and said, hey, man, why don't we just get a former Celtic on after the big win last night? Why don't we get one of our very own Southside High School boys on, North Carolina Tar Heel boys on. That's right. And uh, now we are pleased to go directly to the guest line right now and bring on Mr. Shimon Williams. Shimon, my friend, how we doing, brother? Man, I'm doing fine. Doing just great. Can so, I complain? Shimon, How are you doing? Shimon, Will, Will Bouton here. You know, what, what Merritt forgot to realize is that Shimon Williams' real claim to fame is that he was a Hughes Middle School All Star wow. back in the day. Wow. <laughs> Do you still have your jersey, Shimon, framed somewhere? <laughs> See, Will, you would be one of the only few to, to know about that Hughes Middle School tradition. <laughs> That's right, baby. That's right. <laughs> Well, Sh- Shimon, I know that you had to be, uh, first of all, first and foremost, excited for your cousin uh, last night, Kevin Garnett, uh, getting the win. And not to mention, Shimon, just talk about how KG has really, this series, he has probably shown everybody, listen, age is just a number because I am playing basketball the way it's supposed to be played, whether you're 16, 26, or 36. Well, it, it really it really shows you that uh, you have to really work at your craft. Um, it really shows that despite anybody's age, the game of basketball still has to be played. Uh, unfortunately, the game of basketball is going to athleticism, but uh, we all know that uh, athleticism, athleticism alone doesn't get you where you want to go as a basketball player, as well as um, understanding the game, uh, having an IQ, and being a student of the game really propels you beyond uh, just a, uh, an athlete. All right, Shaman, tell tell us about Kevin Garnett and his personality off the court a little bit because I'm, I'm watching him play. I've never met KG. His <laughs> intensity is off the charts. I, I, t- I said earlier in the program that if my two boys would play basketball like him, I would be the proudest dad out there just because of his intensity. Now, I, I'd rather them not use the F-bomb, you know, so much <laughs> on the court. But, like, does he ever relax or is he a chill person off the court? Help us there. Well, I mean, when we were growing up, he, he, he was never the type of person, you know, you know, you look and you say like the F-bomb, but he was really never the type of person that would use that type of language, especially to get himself going. Um, you know, I, I think because you're playing against better uh, athletes and uh, you've grown accustomed to having to get yourself uh, prepared or, or, you know, mentally into a game, I mean, you know, everybody has their own type of thing. Uh, for him, it may be talking to himself. Uh, he, you know, he uses, you know, the type of language he needs to use to get himself going. It's not so much as uh, trying to degrade the next person he's playing against. It's, it's just something that he uses to get himself going. For me, it's classical music. <laughs> wow, <laughs> being relaxed uh, that gets me uh, focused. Uh, so it, it, it's not, you know, if you if you can take away uh, the language and. Those types of things. It's really not a bad thing. It's just something that he uses to get himself going. But you know, once once you're off the basketball court, you, you know you'll you know you'll you'll calm down and you'll handle things accordingly. Shimon Williams joining us right now on our guest line. Glad to have him along with us. And by the way, glad to have Shimon Williams coming back to the Greenville area. Absolutely. Congratulations to you, Shimon, on uh, your new endeavor. Going to be working Thank for uh, the Furman Paladins. Tell us how that transpired and, and what is it going to be like going from player to now coach? Uh, well, uh, for me, it's, 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 always, it's always been a uh, you know, a, a focal point of, you know, future endeavors is being a coach. When you're a point guard, you, you, you are the coach. You're the coach on the floor. So, you know, I've always been the coach on the floor. So, uh, really, this being a coach is nothing new. I think the new part is being able to translate these things and give it to the, the kids and, and help them become the best student athletes uh, that they, they can possibly become. Um, you know, it, it was something that, um, Furman had an opening uh, a few months ago, and um, you know they were interviewing people, and they heard that I was interested in getting into coaching, uh, so they brought me down. Uh, Coach Bob Ritchie was real instrumental in me uh, getting on the staff. Uh, he gave me a call. We talked. I was in Greenville. You know, I'm always in Greenville every other week at least, and visiting family. So I went up to Furman, and you know, I had the opportunity to speak with Coach Ritchie and uh, Coach Jackson, and. You know, we had a great conversation, but at the time they were already uh, involved with another candidate, and 
And, um, you know, he eventually got the job. So, um, you know, two months later, uh, that same individual chose to take a job at his alma mater. And, you know, they called me immediately and asked me was I still interested in coaching. And I was like, sure, you know, I'm, I'm extremely interested. And, um, you know, he offered me the job. So uh, I came down last Friday and, uh, you know, I spent the time up at the school, uh, talked uh, with the athletic director and, and uh, and you know, with the coaches and, you know, I filled out my paperwork and just was waiting on my <laughs> background check to pass. And uh, my background check passed yesterday, so, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to have the opportunity to, to first and foremost uh, be working with the, uh, the Paladin staff, uh, but it's also great to have the opportunity to be home. You know, it's, um, you know, when I, when I left Greenville uh, 20 years ago, um, you know, I was a kid that felt like I didn't get the respect that I deserved from uh, the state of South Carolina. And, you know, to have the opportunity to come back and start my, my, my new career as a coach in, uh, at my home is, is just a, a blessing from God. Well, absolutely, Shaman. We're so excited to have you back. And the beautiful thing about respect is you weren't given it. I agree with you there. But the awesome thing is you earned it. You, you got it the yeah. right way. And so we, we've always loved following your career. What I know you're just starting. What do we need to do to get the Paladins into the big dance of March Madness? Well, you know, we're, we're going to – you know, we have to, you have to just start by, by working hard. And I'm not saying that they've, not, they've, they've never worked hard, but – you know, the most important thing, I think, as a player, uh, you know, you just want to work hard. And if you work hard and you do your best and you're, not, you're unable to uh, obtain the goals that you, you want to t- uh, obtain, then you feel good about yourself. And at least you know you gave it your all. So, um, you know, that's the, first, that's the first thing that, you know, that, that I'm going to try to preach. And as, as well as, you know, skill development, um, you know, uh, have the opportunity to work with, you know, with some of the kids and, and, uh, you know, we're going to most definitely build up that skill and, uh, you know, give them the insight to, you know, to what it takes, you know, to play at a high level. Um, and, um, you know, uh, uh, the kids are, are great. Uh, they're extremely receptive. Uh, we have great staff. And, um, I think that, I think that we're going to, I think we're going to do just well. Uh, we have a, you know, a pretty young team, but, um, you know, the guys want to compete. Uh, so, you know, now it's just, you know, just trying to give them the insights to, to, to certain things that I've been able to, to learn as a college player as well as a pro. And uh, hopefully those things will help them uh, become a better player as well as a better team. And, and hopefully it will be great for the, the city of Greenville. Absolutely. That's Sh- all we need. Shimon Williams joining us right now on the guest line. Shimon, hey, I appreciate an awful lot you coming on with us. And, uh, hey, man, I appreciate you getting back into it. I appreciate you taking your skill set. You, you know, you talked about the craft early on. Your, your cousin Garnett last night talked about his craft last night. And, and it takes somebody like you to be able to make those kids understand you don't just show up to the gym and expect right. all your shots to fall. The, the craft does have to be cultivated. And, man, I just appreciate you an awful lot being able to come back and give back to these young kids. Well, it's, you know, I, I, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. It's, it's, it's been, you know, it's, it's a great thing because actually I was doing some other things. You know, I have a mental health uh, center in, in Greenville where I work with uh, uh, kids with behavioral issues. Um um, and, uh, you know, the city of Greenville actually awarded me the Juanita Butler Center there in Greenville that I can do uh, my services uh, out of that center. So, you know, I'm doing a partnership with the city of Greenville to try to get kids back into the city centers. There's a lot of resources and, and things like that that the kids can use to help them become better students, uh, to help with, you know, issues if they have them. And, uh, you know, now to have the opportunity to be a coach at Furman, it's kind of like it, it just it just helps so much to to be uh, so involved in the community as well. You know, my job has taken me away from the community for so many years. So, uh, you know, there's a lot of things going on now <laughs> other than being a coach. Uh, but, um, you know, I'm, uh, it's great to have the opportunity to let the kids see and, the, you know, the families of Greenville know that there's a lot of options and resources that not only myself are offering, but the city of Greenville. And, and hopefully, uh, you know, being at Furman now, you know, Furman, uh, you know, having that, that resource uh, to try to get kids, um, you know, academically inclined that we can keep a lot of kids uh, in the city of Greenville at, you know, a great institution that, that we have there also. 
That's fantastic. Shimon Williams has been our guest. Oh, by the way, Shimon, uh, we, yes, got a, we got an email just in while we were playing. We're going to cue this up. Uh, this, is from, this is from Kevin uh, last night. Go ahead and play that for me real quick. Go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, back to he you. Said, he said, go to bed, boo-boo. Who is boo-boo? Is Shimon you there? me? Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, there's, there's a few boo boos. I, I okay. don't know about who he was, who he was okay. referring to, but he probably was talking about his daughter. Okay, okay. just making sure. That's what we were guessing. <laughs> we're just like, we didn't know which boo boo he was talking about. Hey, Shaman, yeah. man, it's awesome talking with you, brother. Thank you so much for spending just a couple minutes with us. Look forward to getting you back on the show real soon. Well, hey, guys, now that I'm in Greenville, uh, you know, if you want to make this a weekly thing, I'm more than inclined to doing it. You Sounds got it, great. brother. We'd love to have you. Thanks, Shaman. All right. Well, yep. take care. Tell your parents I said hello. I'll do it. All right, thanks.